Hey, good morning. <clears throat> in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 19 through 20, and then also in chapter 3, verses 7 through 8, the Apostle Paul writes this. After all, <clears throat> after all, what gives us hope and joy and what will be our proud reward and crown as we stand before our Lord Jesus when he returns? It is you. Yes, you are our pride and joy. So we have been greatly encouraged in the midst of our troubles and suffering, dear brothers and sisters, because you have remained strong in your faith. It gives us new life to know that you are standing firm in the Lord. What accomplishment or milestone would bring satisfaction in various careers? Well, it wouldn't be that hard to guess. For a surgeon, it would probably be a successful surgery on a patient with a very difficult illness or ailment. <clears throat> For a lawyer, it would be winning a hard-fought court case. For a politician, likely be being reelected by one's constituency. Uh, for an NFL quarterback, well, leading the team to a Super Bowl victory. For a pastor, hmm, well, that one's a little more challenging to define. Uh, the truth is that it probably depends a lot on the pastor himself. Various pastors might consider it to be their church size, or financial success, or Instagram or X, Twitter, followers, um, denominational leadership positions, or TV, radio, and podcast listeners. You know, in 1 Thessalonians, Paul gives a different answer than any of these. What gives us hope and joy? It's you. Yes, you are our pride and joy. You know, when I pause to consider that which gives me hope and joy, that which makes me proud, I would, whole, would wholeheartedly agree with Paul. It's you. You are my pride and joy. Yeah, I send these devotions in text form to about 30 people every day, and Ann and I also post these on the church Facebook page as chairside chats. Many of you respond back regularly, while others never do. It's okay. Either way, as I send or post these, you become my focus in prayer. Then I wait and watch to see what fruit the Lord, Lord produces in you. Dear ones, there is one thing in ministry that brings me hope and joy. It makes me proud. You do. It is you. As I see your faith in Jesus grow. Pray with me. Lord, thanks. Thanks for giving me the privilege of being able to share your word and watch as your word goes forth and produces fruit in the lives of people who hear it. What joy it is to see people grow in their faith, in you. Thanks, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.